What am I gonna tell her? Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Oh, dinner should be ready in half an hour. And maybe we can kill some time. Well, before anything, <clears throat> I got you this. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. <sighs> this must have cost a fortune. It doesn't matter. Honey, I would buy you the world. Oh, how did I get so lucky? Remember when we used to dream about being rich and having a big house and here we are. <laughs> Yeah, um... Hey, Wilma. Yeah? Never mind. Well, if there's nothing else, let's go kill some time. We might lose our house, our cars, everything. Honey, are you okay? Oh, oh yeah. Just thinking. Oh, that's good. Oh, hey, have you planned the trips for Seattle yet? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, um, I was thinking we'll spend the first half of the week with my parents and then it'll be just you and I in the city and we can do touristy things. And are you even listening? Huh, uh, uh-huh. So um, make sure you pack a jacket because it's gonna be wet. Honey? Would you still love me if we had nothing? No, no, are you kidding? I would leave you in a heartbeat. I'm just joking. <laughs> I love you. And we don't have anything to worry about. Unless there's something that you're not telling me. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, I'm just stressed out about work. Oh, honey, you work way too hard. I want you to know I appreciate everything you do for us. Good night. Good night. Why do I feel like she wasn't kidding? I need to find a job and sort this out ASAP. There's gotta be something. You'd think there'd be some kind of job I'd be qualified for. Oh, here's one. <laughs> and sent. <laughs> hey, what you doing? <laughs> hey, sweetie, uh, just uh, getting some work done. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't stay up too late. Good night. Good night. Oh, that was close. <sighs> wow, you're up early. Just getting ready for work. I know, but usually you sleep through a couple of alarms. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just in that grind set, you know? <laughs> I don't know. But it's good to see you more determined. <laughs> well, see you later. Hi. He's definitely up to something. Okay, three interviews today. I'm bound to nail these interviews. Confidence is key. You got this, Elmer. I have more than 20 years experience in this industry. I know my way around. And my expertise is going to be a valuable asset to this company. Uh -huh. And what are your goals? To improve my skills as well as the workflow of this company. Where do you see yourself in five years? At this company, I, I hope. <laughs> How do others describe you? Determined and pays attention to detail. All right. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Elmer, was it? 
Uh-huh. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, please. You're not gonna get this job. Oh, well, thanks for telling me, I, I guess. Um, if you don't mind me asking, why is it that you aren't gonna hire me? Well, you're not really a young face. You're kind of... Old? Yeah, old. And I bet you're great, but our company is looking for someone younger with more potential to stay here longer. And to be honest, you're probably going to want to retire in a couple years. Um, and a young adult has a good 40 years before reaching that point. More room for growth. Growth? But listen, just give me a chance. I I'm a workaholic and I'll stay here and I, I don't have to retire until I'm 80. And that's in what, five years? I'm not that old. Look, at this age, you're probably going to have a hard time finding work in general. Please, just give me a chance. I promise, I'll, I'll, I'll be better than five or e even 10 young people. I'm sure you are, Grandpa. <laughs> My advice, figure out how to cash your social security and take it easy. I'm so screwed. Hey. Hello? I'm at the market and my card is being declined. Uh, try the other card. I tried both of them. Is everything okay? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, I uh, just made a really big purchase recently and I guess the credit card company maybe put a, a little hold on it or something, and that's maybe why it got declined. What? You made a big purchase? Guess we'll tap into what's left of our savings. What did you say? Hello? Uh, everything's fine. Honey, you're gonna love this big purchase, I, I promise. Anyway, go ahead and try the card again. It, it should work now. Oh, well. Now I'm kind of excited. <laughs> okay, I'll see you at home. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? A big purchase? A big purchase? Now I'm gonna have to go buy something expensive just so she doesn't get suspicious. Oh, idiot. <sighs> okay, so what's the big... <gasps> Wow! I got you something. <gasps> can we afford all this? We totally can't afford all this. Honey, I got you something to remind you of how much I love you. Aw, thanks. Going on I here. Explain. I, 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 Elmer. <sighs> Fine. I lost my job. What? Please don't be mad. So you thought that buying a bunch of stuff that we don't need would be okay? I just didn't want you to worry. Worry? Worry is all I've been doing. You kept me completely in the dark. Well, you went and spent half of our savings on gifts that I don't need. Hey, I'm gonna get a job and then it'll be like it never happened. No. 
I can't do this. Not right now. My wife hates me. Gosh, I'm such an idiot. Wilma? Elmer? Are you mad? A little, yeah. Figures. Elmer, be honest. Why were you hiding all of that? I... I just didn't want you to hate me. To hate you? How could I ever hate you? Because I failed us. I used to be able to take us on trips and buy you anything you wanted, but not now. I've failed you as a husband. Honey, you're my husband. It is not your sole responsibility to take care of me. We're a team. What really upset me was that you didn't trust me enough to even tell me. How am I supposed to help take care of you if you don't tell me? You're right. I thought I could take care of this and make it go away without you knowing about it, but I just, I didn't want you to get all stressed out. Honey, you should not have to deal with this all by yourself. I can help. I returned most of the gifts this morning. You did? Yeah, I don't care about the gifts or any of that fancy stuff. What I care about is you. When we got married, we said our wedding vows. We vowed for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, sickness and, and in health, health, till death, death do us part. part. We're in this together. No matter what. I love you, Wilma. That really means a lot to me. I love you too. We're gonna get through this. Together we can get through anything. <laughs>